Hello, my name is Valentina Brilla. I am a new international student. I am an athlete in the tennis team. Today, I am going to talk about the case of H.B. Fuller in Honduras. I'm going to analyze um, the case. I'm going to talk a little bit in general about what happened, <laughs> what happened, and finally the ethics. So sorry for my voice. <laughs> um, first, before I start, I really wanted <coughs> um, to say that it is totally sad uh, what is happening. What what is happening? there. I am from Argentina and I know that in my country th things happen but I think this case was very strong, very shocking. Um, it really is a case that left me thinking a lot. Also after having done my analysis I started to watch videos and look for a little more information and I think it is already too hard. It is ugly to know that children so young are consuming drugs growing up with these substances that does not take them anywhere, does not give them a secure future. It's, it's very sad. Okay, now um, talking about the, the case analysis, um, HV Fuller case, it was discussed that kids in Honduras were in Allen Resistol, a common drug used to get a sense of high. Um, what is Resistol? Resistol is an adhesive glue used for building and um, is manufactured by HP Fuller along with several other adhesives that use the title of Resistol. Um, the adhesive, uh, adhesive uh, is commonly used for shoe repair and common household uh, purpose in the third world countries like Honduras and other countries around Central America. I mean, in South America, I think Venezuela, Colombia maybe have to. Um, but talking about this case, kids were using the drug at such a young a young um, age, they were forming this habit to create the glue as if it were some sort of tobacco product. With the constant desire of needing the drug, kids at the age of five were beginning to form this habit with them into the adulthood. These kids who are using so bad that it was um, uh, uh, um, that it uh, was become becoming considered substance abuse in that country. The main point of this case was to get um, the public to understand whether whether uh, on or not the company should change <coughs> to change the clue uh, to make it so strong that it will hurt for a person to try in in now that glue directly. Um, when we talk about the, the, the company, the way it was going to make that happen was by adding an oil that comes from mustard, which makes sniffing unpleasant and painful. Um, now the company faces a choice, either add the Jamaica or leave the product has is and continue destroying the youth of this country. I mean, young kids keep going to do that. Um, I can say like, I mean, in this case, you will get insight on a philosopher outlook on social responsibility. <coughs> and what HB Fuller should. The case described all of the obstacles that the company will face when trying to decide if it should or should not change the other product. Along with these details, the ethical analysis will include my opinion. 
that I mean, in my personal opinion, I think that the company should should add the oil into the clues so that it stops the youth from forming this habit. The problem is that is that adding the oil doesn't ensure that people will stop using the drug, just make it more difficult to do. Um, I mean, HB Fueler needs to make this change because they are receiving complaints 100% from social activists and other groups concerned with the health of the kids. I mean, I was like, after I do all my, my analysis, I was watching a video that that the kids say that, hey, no, I am I am consuming this, this drug because my, my parents doesn't care. I mean, my parents never like asked me where I am, never like give me education, never like say, what is the young people doing? For me, this is normal. I mean, it, it's very hard. I mean, for me, it's very hard, like, watch that little kids, it's only five, seven, 10, 12 years old, like, very young, saying that. I mean, me, when I was, like, very, very young, like, five years old, I was, like, outside playing with my brothers. Like, they don't know to do that. They don't know, like, education. They don't know the school. Um, I think sometimes these drugs give them very bad, like, ways. Um, they don't know uh, what what is that drugs doing in in the body. I mean... You start with that and they keep going with that like long time. It's so hard like to say, hey, tomorrow I stop this. No, of course not. They're, they're still like very young. They are keep going all the life. I don't think they have a great, great like life in the future. Um, I mean, future needs to, to, to make this change. 100%. I mean, another factor that is harming the company is the local newspaper blaming them, company for the destruction of the kids and questioning their standing on what they are going to do in order to stop this from happening with their their product. I mean, it's, it's very, very hard, but this case is, is really good. I really enjoy. Um, I hope you enjoy my video too. Sorry for my voice. I feel very bad. Today is my best day, but I'm so sorry. Have a great night and, and see you.